Shalom everyone to Living with the Times. This week's Torah portion is Vayakel, and it begins Vayakel Moshe. Moshe gathers all the people together. When is this happening? According to tradition, Moshe comes down from the mountain on Yom Kippur. This is the first Yom Kippur, before the laws of Yom Kippur have been given. And he comes down with the two tablets of the law as a sign of God's acceptance of their tshuva, of their forgiveness for the golden calf. And so we're going to look at this word, vayakel, and try to understand it through the system of pardes, pshat, the literal, remez, the alluded to meaning, the drush, the symbolic, allegorical, metaphorical meaning, and the sod, the mystical meaning. So on the simple level, Moshe is gathering them together. He has the two tablets of the law. And considering what happened to the first tablets, this is a huge tikkun. And so he gathers all of the people together. On a, on a Remez level, an alluded to meaning, we see that when the people gathered together to make the golden calf, it uses the same word, a vayakel. And so here, Moshe understanding that is they gathered together to make the golden calf. Well, this needs a rectification. So he gathers the people together, but here it will be for the holy work of making the Mishkan, which almost the entire Torah portion is involved with. And so here, just to the remez, to the illusion of the words appearing as the gathering to make the golden calf is now fixed through the gathering of making a mishkan. Another level on the level of drush is when we came to Mount Sinai, it says that we, we camped there by the mountain. They camped by the mountain. Rashi points out that the word camped is written in the singular even though we would expect it to be in the plural, because it's talking about all of Israel. So he says, in a very, very important commentary, he says that they camped there, like one person with one heart. And that's why the word, they camped, is written in the singular. So that was, in a sense, a prerequisite for being able to receive the Torah at Sinai. Because had we not been united in purpose, where we said, Na'asev nishma, we will do and then we will hear, that made us a fitting vessel that God could reveal himself and the Ten Commandments to the Jewish people. It took that kind of unity. So here, Moshe is coming down with the second tablets. And he wants to... In, in a sense, replay the unity that was broken by the incident of the golden calf. And so here, when he's about to tell the people about making the Mishkan, this incredible task to build a dwelling place where the divine presence could dwell among Israel, he gathers all the people together in, as it were, a replay of Moshe. He gathers everyone together in a unity of purpose. And then on the sowed level is understanding deeply this concept of all of Israel. Because it says he gathered all of Israel together. And so the, the Arizal 
So he crafted a kavana, an intent, that could be said before performing a mitzvah. And it was, l'shem yichud kut shabrichu v'shchinte, for the purpose of uniting the Holy One, blessed be He, and His Shekhinah, and the Divine Presence, and the idea of unifying the four letters of God's name. And then, but it ends, I'll go back, L'shem Yichud Kut Shebrichu V'shchinte, L'yached Shem Yud and He and Vav and He, by unifying the four letters of God's name, the shame call Yisrael in the name of all of Israel. And what the Ariza was trying to teach us is that where it says, call Yisrael Aravin Zet Lezet, all of Israel is responsible one for the other because this concept of all Israel includes the souls of all of Israel. It's as if, even though we all have our individual soul, but there is this larger picture where all the souls of Israel are united in the concept of one soul, all of Israel. And so when Moshe gathers everyone together, he wanted to... to bring to the to the to the fore this idea that all of Israel is together and in order to build the Mishkan we had to be together now this idea is so important today because here in Israel right now of course everyone knows we're in the middle of a war and the we'll call it the theme of the the or the the motto that you see everywhere in signs in every city, on, on, on cars, uh, uh, people talk like this is Biyachad Ninatzeach. Together we will be victorious. And it's a nice motto, but it's like for real, because without us being together, really pulling together, how, how can we be victorious? We will only be victorious when it's the idea of call Yisrael coming together. We are really under attack now from every direction, from the west from Hamas, from the north from Hezbollah, from the east from Iranian proxies in Syria, from the south, from the Houthis in Yemen. We are quite literally under attack from every quarter. And Jewish communities all over the world, it's the same thing. We are under verbal and violent attack. The only way that we will succeed is this idea of Vayakel Moshe, that we need to be gathered together and biyachad ninatzeach, and bezrat Hashem, that simple motto will enter deeply into our hearts and will, will inform our, our unity with all of Israel and will strengthen our identity with what Israel is going through and truly the Yachad Nenatzeach.